Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This is episode 27, which is pretty crazy, given that especially since I don't, I don't release episodes all that often. Uh, okay, so here's, I've got the little thing goes down to the uh, witch farm, hop in and goes, woohoo. It's a very nice little, uh, it's a convenient little system to have. How are you doing? Um, I am back from Maker Faire, which was, Maker Faire was pretty cool. Uh, it was, uh, it was, it was a lot of work. It's, this year was three days, so it's three days of just non-stop talking to people and, uh, showing off projects. I built a little ukulele. It was built in 8-bit style, and it was kind of interesting because you could tell how old people were based on what they called it. So the, 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 uh, the adults, they would call it a Lego guitar, <laughs> and the kids would call it a Minecraft guitar. Never mind that. Hello. Oh, come on. Get out of the portal. Okay. Never mind that. You never saw that. You didn't hear that. No, no, no. All right. Whoa. Okay. I didn't clean up the place. Hang on a sec. Okay, I'm back. Look at this. I got carrots and I got melons. And all the grown in. I have an item sorter and a nether wart. This is a witch farm. This is, oh, my pings are really bad. Uh, so, and uh, this is the witch farm. I keep expanding the platform. You saw before what I had up here was much smaller. I keep pushing things out. So this is the sorting system for the witch farm. And it's working really well. I have the witches turned off right now. Just because I think it's contributing to the lag. Um, and uh, so I'm collecting all the things that witches drop. Mostly are things that are useful in potions. I don't, I don't get the sticks, but whatever. Um, so I, I never have to worry about ladders. And then I have a miscellaneous chest. Um, some stuff doesn't sort super well. And sometimes stuff, especially the glowstone for some reason, ends up in the overflow chest, which is fine. Uh, not a big deal. There we go. Not bad. So I wanted to put up here things that you could put in the overworld that would allow potion brewing so you take all those things which are mostly the modifiers um, plus the sugar and uh, spider eye are ingredients and of course the glass bottles ah sorry beard scratch um, and uh, so I planted some melons for healing potions some carrots for night vision and invisibility potions nether ward of course because you need that and uh, over here I've got a uh, mushroom farm Growing some mushrooms. Uh, the mushrooms, of course, you use for making the uh, fermented spider eyes, which are used to invert potions. Uh, I've got a little fishing area here so that we can try and catch some some puffer fish to make water breathing potions. This is going to be something else for next episode. Um, and then I have a little storage area for different potions. And this is the potion brewing machine. So this is what I want to kind of go over uh, with you today. This is pretty cool. I've been, if you saw in past episodes, of playing with the different mechanics of putting hoppers into brewing stands in different positions. You get different things. Uh, so then I started uh, playing around with putting uh, the item ingredients into dispensers and pushing them into a hopper chain. So I've got all the ingredients here. So up here, I've got uh, golden carrots. Yeah, uh, and I've got nether wart up here. Got a bunch of it because we're growing it right here. Uh, there are a few things that I'm in short supply of. Gas tears. These are way too hard to come by for me to be putting it up here for everyone else to be using, at least until I figure out some sort of a gas farm. Uh, puffer fish. Again, until I build some sort of an auto fisher or something, I, uh, yeah, uh, puffer fish, I don't have enough of them. And rabbit's feet, I don't, I barely have any of. I think I have six or something like that. 
So I do have a few, but I'm sort of hanging on to them. Everything else I've got populated, at least with some, right? The obvious ones, the gunpowder, glowstone, redstone, spider eye, uh, and sugar. We've got plenty of from the witch farm, so we can keep this filled up all the way. In fact, I what I want to do is I want to build a little sorting system that feeds into these different dispensers. Uh, but I have to figure out how to do that, how to make that fit. Um, shouldn't be too hard, but um, that that is part of the next thing. So I want to be able to either draw off of this sorting system here and feed fill up these or have a chest up here where you just chuck your, your ingredients in and everything flows into the appropriate chest. Um, don't know yet. So, but here's how it works. This is pretty cool. So I've got a chest up here with water bottles, a bunch of them. And if you grab water bottles from the water bottle chest, and we have a bunch of water bottles, more than we will ever use, um, and you hop up here, and there's a water source block here with a hopper underneath it. If you fill up your inventory except for the water bottles and start filling the water bottles here, when you fill a water bottle, it tries to place it in your inventory. And if it can't, you throw it. So then you just end up throwing all the water bottles into the water block there, down in the hopper, into the chest. It's a really quick way of filling up a chest full of water bottles. And that feeds through this hopper here into the brewing stand. The hopper is locked at the moment by this torch here, which is controlled by this button. So if I want, I can come here, click on this button, and it fills up the brewing stand with water bottles from that chest. Woohoo! Now we're ready to brew. So I can come up here and say I want to make a, uh, a health potion, a splash health potion. So I need I need some nether wart, and I need glycerin melon, and I want to I want to make it uh, I want to make it extended, and I want to make a splash potion. So I click on those items. And I can come and look in here and they show up in this hopper whenever it chooses to open. It shows up in this hopper in the order in which I placed them. Gunpowder coming now. So the, that's the order in which you want to brew these things. So now I can click on this lever. It'll unlock this. It'll let the stuff flow out of that hopper down into the brewing stand. And it'll start brewing. And it's going to go in the order that I pressed them works very nicely I've seen some other uh, potion brewing things and and you can make them more automatic than this but this is uh, I think this works pretty well you kind of have to know what you're what you want and how to brew it but you can do that so so the nether war turned these into aqua potions glycerin melon is going to turn them into a health potion or a potion of restoration or whatever they call it come on Potion of healing, instant health. The glowstone is going to make it a potion of healing two, or instant health two, and then the gunpowder will make it a splash potion, so that I can carry them around with me. And if I get into a tough spot, the splash potions are quicker than the drinking potions. Right now, it's instant health two, and now the gunpowder is going to make a splash potion. This hopper is now empty, so I can turn off the brewing switch it locks this and I can go lay out my next potion so if I wanted to make a potion of leaping you know I'd do the nether ward and then the rabbit's foot and then if I want to make it last longer I can do the redstone or if I want to make it a stronger effect the glowstone some potions are affected by the redstone some by the glowstone some some both and then of course the gunpowder to make them splash potions so then I can come over here and so I've got all these things and these are in the order of the flow chart on the uh pretty much in the order of the flow chart on the wiki the nether warts first because it's the first ingredient in almost every potion except for poison potions and then the fermented spider eye uh inverts potions and turns their perverts them or whatever they call it um it reverses the effect and then these are the modifiers the redstone glowstone and, and gunpowder now when we're done Woohoo, now I've got Splash Potion of Healing Instant Health 2. Now I can push this button here, and they come out of the stand and end up in this chest. So if I'm brewing up a whole mess, I can just 
You can grab them out of the potion stand too, but if you brew it up a bunch, you just leave them in the chest and pick them all up at the end. And then I come up here and I've got my potion of healing. And I already have some, but these are healing too. Yeah, so I'm going to put them down here. Anyway. Oh, I have a mix here. Oh, I have a mix here. All right. So anyway, there it is. So I've got potions here. People can come and grab. Um, I've got some of most of these. Um, I don't know if I have any leaping potions. I might have a few. Nope. Uh, I don't have any regen potions. And I don't have any water breathing potions. Because these are the ones that require the ingredients that are really hard to come by at this point. So I'm, I want to fix that. We will. But I have most everything else. So you can come up here and brew up potions pretty easily without having to go and grab ingredients out of chests and all that. And there's only 14 of them, so there's 14. This is all the ingredients that you can put into a potion in the game at this point. Obviously, next version of the game, you know, the next update might add some, in which case it should be relatively easy to expand this. Um, oh, dispensers, they're staggered. I found I had to do that. Uh, some of the some of the brewing systems they'll put the the droppers sorry these are droppers they'll put them vertically and then they'll use they'll put like two or three of them and use one button and it will if you power this block here it'll power a dropper here here and here it'll drop them all in a row and then you put them in you have to put them in upside down order the order you want them to go in it's a little bit um, it's a little counterintuitive but same thing, I found if I put a button here, click on this, it, it powered multiple hoppers. And the way I found to deal with that is to stagger them and put comparators in. Uh, and so these have, the ones that are back against the wall here have an extra hopper to flow through. So this one flows into here and all these flow into here. And all the ones up top do the same thing. They flow into here. These uh, sea lanterns are completely optional. I put them back here because I was getting a couple dark spots and things were spawning. Uh, and then this hopper f goes into this dropper and I just have this row of droppers that push into a short hopper chain up here. Pop, and then pop and pop and go down into the brewing stand. So anyway, that's my little machine. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and you should be able to sort of s sort out how to do it on your own. Uh, if there's interest, I could do a tutorial, show how to actually build it. And I could show the, the variations. I have a couple different versions that I, I worked out in creative. And there are things I'd like to do to improve this, obviously. Um, I want to cover up this redstone here. It's... Uh, we drop some water or something it could mess it up uh, and the redstone clicks and I need to muck around with this a little bit I did this the uh, slightly more compact version normally I'd put another comparator here in subtract mode and run the redstone out around this side but it this is a little more uh, it doesn't run out as long but I have space here I could do it um, and a uh, little little torch ladder here to push ingredients up through the uh, the item, the dropper ladder, dropper elevator. And uh, yeah, and then I have signs back here telling you which ingredient goes where. So the, the gunpowder is down here. And the gas tiers would go up here. But I don't have any. Or I don't have any in here. I have some. Over here. You didn't hear that. Um, so I have I have some gas tiers and some I have like seven rabbits feet You didn't hear that. Okay um, Tree I have a giant tree here. It's oh, it's nighttime. So you can't see it um, There's a lot of chests here and a lot of hoppers and they all require wood So so I was that's why I was growing giant spruce trees up here. I will probably remove this uh, and the other thing is the uh, I got a fortune three axe which is kind of handy. So come up here and plant a brown mushroom and bone meal it. Oops. 
This is mycelium, which I silk touched from a mushroom biome. So anyway, then you fortune axe all these, oops, all these uh, mushroom blocks. And if you want the actual mushroom blocks, you can uh, you can use silk touch to pick them up and pick up all the little mushrooms that drop. Not bad. And so that one giant mushroom, that one mushroom and one piece of bone meal got me 25 mushrooms. Not too bad. Uh, and if you plant the, uh, the mushroom up here, I can put these guys up here. Uh, over time, very slowly, this will spread out across the mycelium. Oh, hey, dude. How are you? Oh, yeah, also, gold farm. Look at that. I got three gold nuggets from that. <laughs> yeah, that's not, not the most efficient gold farm in the world, but it, it does work. Yeah. Oh, let's put the bone meal back in here, too. So anyway, uh, and you need the, the, the nuggets to convert these into the golden variety. And I keep the, the leftover zombie flesh and whatnot in here. Notice it does uh, it does occasionally pick up uh, slime. I think part of the witch farm is actually in a slime chunk, so every now and then a slime gets caught up in it. And uh, squids sometimes spawn in there. And I get spiders and witches and skeletons and stuff. And creepers. Uh, the, all the creeper drops end up in the gunpowder. Uh, the gunpowder chest, so it's indistinguishable from the witch gunpowder. Whatever. Uh, but I've got, you know... I haven't spent too much time AFK in here. Uh, I mostly have been here while I've been working. And I've got, so this is, you know, I've got almost two full double chests of spider eyes, for instance. And that's after turning some couple stacks into fermented spider eyes. So that's not too bad. Fermented spider eye. How many do I have here? Yeah, I've got a few. So that's not bad. Yeah, so I've got three, almost four stacks there. So, anyway, um, that's the witch farm complex. Not too bad. Uh, this is going to be something that I'll get into in the next episode. And this is, I do some fishing here. Got myself a Lure 3, Luck of the Sea 3 fishing rod. And occasionally pulls a couple puffer fish in a row out, which is nice. But that's it. So, anyway, I, I wanted this to be kind of the the grand uh, potion brewing area like if you need a bunch of potions like you need to stock up to go fight a wither or something you could come here and just grab the potions you want brew brew up any that aren't here that you need or you can replace the ones you're taking and uh, yeah and then the nice thing about the fortune axe is it uh, it increases your drops on uh, on these as well so So after replanting, I get, you know, 28. 28 more carrots. Not too bad. We're, we're getting there. And then, uh, of course, uh, works on the, the melons as well. So a full set of five melons, I will clear a half a stack of uh, melon, uh, melon, melon slices or melon or whatever. Yeah, just melon. So anyway, that's it. And I have already shown you the downstairs, but we can go take a peek since we're here. Woohoo. So this platform I don't use so much anymore. Um, I've got some stuff in these chests. I need to start clearing them out. This thing is growing. I had to put lights in the middle of some of the sections because they were getting dark spots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I don't know, I'm debating what to do. I'm thinking I may grow this out back here a little bit, but I, I've mostly got all the stuff I need. The shadow that it's casting is keeps growing. Oops, sun's coming up. Uh, I do occasionally, when this is on, I do occasionally get stuff spawning on these blocks, which is a little bit frustrating. I've got the spawning turned off right now because it does aggravate the uh, the lag server lag a little bit. 
Um, but you've seen you've seen all this. I showed you this a couple episodes ago, where the witches all party down here, and they die and they go up the elevator. So anyway, that's that. Um, we are. I think that's it for this episode. Not much else out here. I need to go exploring a little bit. I might uh, do that in the future. Just see what else is around here. Because found this area wandering a little bit, but it's uh, kind of on the way to the Mesa biome. But I'm sure there's stuff between here and the Mesa biome that, I mean, I kind of have done a beeline from here out to the Mesa, but uh, it'd be nice to know if there's other stuff. So I think that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, I just noticed my audio recorder wasn't recording. So the audio is probably not going to be super awesome for this. I apologize now. And uh, I will rectify that for the next episode. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you want a tutorial on building this, I can, I can do that. That would be relatively straightforward. And hopefully I'll make some improvements. Uh, I have instructions up here, but I kind of, we walked through the process. It's pretty straightforward. So anyway, I think that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.